Expressing agreement and disagreement is an important aspect of communication in English. Here's an explanation with detailed examples. Expressing agreement. Full agreement. 1. Explanation. Completely agreeing with someone's statement. 2. Examples. Absolutely, I think your proposal is excellent. I couldn't agree more. Your analysis is spot on. Partial agreement. 1. Explanation. Agreeing with some aspects of a statement but not all. 2. Examples. I agree to an extent, but there are some nuances to consider. I see your point, but I think there might be other factors at play. Strong agreement. 1. Explanation. Expressing a high level of agreement with enthusiasm. 2. Examples. Exactly. That's precisely what I was thinking. You're absolutely right. I'm fully on board with your suggestion. Wholehearted agreement. 1. Explanation. Expressing agreement with complete sincerity. 2. Examples. I wholeheartedly agree. Your idea is brilliant. I'm with you 100% on this. Let's move forward with the plan. Consensus agreement. 1. Explanation. Expressing agreement as part of a group or consensus. 2. Examples. It seems like we all agree that this is the best course of action. The team is in consensus. We should proceed according to this plan. Expressing disagreement. Polite disagreement. 1. Explanation. Disagreeing in a respectful and considerate manner. 2. Examples. I appreciate your perspective, but I have a slightly different opinion. I see where you're coming from, but I respectfully disagree. Mild disagreement. 1. Explanation. Disagreeing without being confrontational. 2. Examples. I'm not so sure about that. I see things a bit differently. I may have a different take on this matter. Expressing doubt. 1. Explanation. Indicating uncertainty or skepticism about a statement. 2. Examples. I'm not entirely convinced that's the best approach. I'm hesitant to agree. There might be some challenges we haven't considered. Strong disagreement. 1. Explanation. Disagreeing firmly and decisively. 2. Examples. I'm afraid I can't agree with you on this. I have serious reservations. I strongly disagree. I think this plan is too risky. Offering alternatives. 1. Explanation. Instead of outright disagreement, suggesting alternative ideas. 2. Examples. What if we consider another option that might address these concerns? I propose we explore alternative solutions that could be more effective. Expressing a contrary view. 1. Explanation. Clearly stating a different viewpoint. 2. Examples. While I respect your opinion, I have a contrary view on this matter. I beg to differ. I think we should take a different approach. Remember to adapt your language based on the context and your relationship with the person you're communicating with. Effective communication involves expressing your thoughts clearly while maintaining respect for others' perspectives.